Hello, we're Izzy and Kira. In August of 2023, we left our tiny rented London flat for a life on the canals. There's been lots of ups and downs and we never seem to stop learning. We've decided to document our adventures, bringing you guys along with us. Join us as we explore the UK waterways and renovate our 62 foot floating home, Lavender Lee. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> I'm not sleeping very well at the moment. No. I don't know if I ever sleep well. No, neither of us are really morning people. You sleep so deeply and so quickly. And it takes me at least an hour to get to sleep. And then mm. when I do, it's really in intermittent and practically and I have really bad dreams. And that means I'm a little groggy in the morning. I'm grumpy. <laughs> So this week we thought we'd just do like a little day in the life of living on a narrow boat, what that entails. We're not moving the boat this week because we actually happen to really like the spot that we were in and we've still got plenty of times before we have to move. Yeah, we've had to do some operations to get to the Elsan point yeah. with our cassette, which has been interesting. Yeah. Um, but it's meant that we can stay here for a bit longer. It's just so nice. I think the transport links are really good. It feels very nostalgic to us. So I think we wanted to spend as much time in this area as possible. So I think we wanted to show you today kind of like what a day living on a narrow boat looks like um, all the specific things that we have to do how that fits in with work and our everyday life usually when we film we film over a couple of days and you usually just see like the best bits of that so this is just a full day from when we wake up until the evening and yeah we'll just take you guys along with us hope you enjoy this is the update on our little beginnings of our garden. Nothing's happened. Nothing's happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're, they're all safe, I think. Um, hoping we will see some sprouts at some point, but today is not that day. Yeah. What are you doing, Is? So we have a watering can, but it's not one with like a, is it called like a rose bud, rose something? I don't know. Yeah, so it's probably too aggressive to water on the little seedlings. So I thought Kira had a good idea that we just wet a cloth and dri dribble it in because it seems to be a bit more um, gentle. You can see on the outdoor trough, you've got the beginnings of some seeds coming through. Tiny, tiny little beginnings. Now this, this is the part of the roof that we need to clean. It's probably, I, I'm hoping it'll be slightly straightforward once we move stuff down. It's just gonna be like moving the stuff up so we can clean it and doing the dance of moving stuff where it needs to be. We got some more water. <laughs> One of the annoying realities of living on a boat is there's never quite enough bins around. So we've got this lovely bin bag that we need to find a bin for. Just sat on our roof at the moment. And we've got another bin inside that's very full. After much deliberation, we will be keeping the roof a light colour. <laughs> yeah, everyone was saying in the last video that actually we shouldn't paint the roof a dark colour because 
it really helps with the heat. Yeah. And so I was like, do you know what? I'll take cleaning it every like couple of months. How's it going, Kira? It's going all right. What are you doing? It's getting all the sludge. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, just sweeping all the leaves. I got scared because of a spider, but we're back on track now. That's the progress. It's a lot quicker with the mop, isn't it? So much quicker with the mop. It looks good. Kira is taking over the mopping. I'm going to sweep the bow and try and make it look a little bit nicer than it is, which isn't very. So this is what we're working with before. This table's been a nice addition, but it's still looking very messy and gross. We're gonna try and de-rust it and paint it soon, um, I think. We've got to de-rust the bow at some point. We're not quite sure what color we're gonna choose. Yeah, I'll show you the bits of rust. So the damage is sort of around here, but especially towards the back here. It's just surface rust, but um, yeah, I think it would be nice to get it sorted so we can have it looking really nice for summer. Lots of boats starting to go past now. No idea why this is here. We are also going to get rid of this cratch board at some point because it is just so low. But yeah, I don't think Kira can quite bring herself to part with it. I yet. really like it. You really like it. <laughs> there are many, many sweepings. <laughs> Culmination of all the storms we've had this winter and us not being as good at sweeping as we should. So not great. There's a portion of the bow that I haven't really had a chance to look at it because it's always had stuff on it, bearing stuff since we've had the boat. And um, this big chunk of rust has just come away, which I think looks a bit more than surface rust. It's not really what we want. So I'm thinking if I get it off, maybe I could treat it with first hand today or tomorrow. Yeah, it's not ideal. It's a bit concerning. So I'm just going to scrape up the worst of the rust and then wire brush. Maybe, I don't know. This is the worst part of it here. You can see, it doesn't feel very good. It's more flakes. It's, it's not feeling too thin when I bang it. And I know that like rust looks a lot worse than it is, but yeah, I'm not feeling super great about it. <laughs> Kira's found her old longboard from her longboarding days. While Izzy is sorting the bow, um, I'm gonna open up the back and have a look at the state of the engine bay. See what, see what's going on there. So here's our engine room. She doesn't get much screen time because I mean, she's very small and it's a bit of a dumping ground at the moment. But under this piece of flooring here is where our engine sits. So I need to pull that up. Don't know if I'll be able to do it without Izzy, but let's, let's give it a go. not the easiest thing to get off um yeah maybe one day we'll replace it so it's a cupboard that's a bit easier to maneuver but for the time being uh, I did it so for those of you interested this is our engine it is a Ford Thornycroft 1800 diesel engine. Here she is in all her glory. This is where the oil goes in. It's actually very messy. Should probably clean that up. This is where the coolant goes in. This is the dipstick where you can check the oil levels. This is the dreaded cam belt that we have got changed very recently, thankfully. So we'll be keeping on top of that. Now I'll lift up this step so we can see what's going on in the engine bay. So yes, as you can see, 
fair bit of water in there so we're gonna try and get that out There's some old nappies in there which look very disgusting but they're good to soak up the water and stuff like that which is what we were trying to do today so i've kind of got off as much of the rust i could get easily and swept around it's not perfect and it obviously doesn't look good with the patchy paint it's looking a bit better now i'm on to help kira with her engine bay so we've um, had to improvise a bit. So Kira has a colander in a bucket. Look, it's not great. But... <laughs> Our setup's always a bit improvised, isn't it? To drain it out into the bucket. And then, it's yeah, really you gross. can see the water. It's not actually as deep as we thought it was, which is good. It's just like... Weird. It's like almost like sludgy, looks a bit oily, greasy. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it's got in there. Always a concern, but never mind. Yum. Look, realistically, we do need to get a wet back. But this is going to take a while. Might not get it all done today, or otherwise this will be an extremely boring video for you guys, but... Been at it for quite a while now but it's looking a lot better you can see the bottom yay we also need to run our engine today so this is our batteries we've got two battery monitors i don't really know why they just came with the boat uh this one's usually more accurate so we usually listen to this one because this one rounds up the amount of volts we have but yeah we'll give it a little run to be honest our, our batteries haven't been behaving amazingly yeah our batteries haven't been holding charge as much as we really want them to could be to be expected because if you didn't hear in our q a video we essentially didn't understand how the batteries worked when we first got the boat and ended up killing originally what we had which were these like huge trojan batteries and we just kind of we replaced them with they weren't really expensive batteries they were kind of the cheapest ones that we could find because we didn't have really the money to spend on a whole new really really good and expensive battery setup so we got some kind of cheap ones they're doing okay but not amazingly so we'll definitely have to upgrade properly at some point but again it all comes down to priority and what you have the money for at the time tell you what it's shaping out to be a really nice day the sun's finally come out it's been quite cloudy all day so i'm hoping we managed to fit in a walk while it's while it's sunny in other news i managed to put the um, engine cover back on by myself which i've never actually managed to do before so quite proud of myself on that one yeah just tidying up in here izzy's just doing some work yeah we'll probably have some lunch in a bit hello hello just I'm having a tea break i just paused my work so you can come and sit on the roof and just enjoy the spring we've not sat up on the roof before have we no, just to chill out it's actually really nice it is. we're thinking about putting a little decking up here mm. um we've seen some other boats do it but we don't really know how they do it um so yeah if you if you know let us know how's your work going it's going well i've like been kind of like producing little drafts to send to my producer for the new show that i'm working on so that's been good it was relatively productive so i feel good about that now we're gonna have lunch i think i've done the engine bay as you guys saw <laughs> having some digestive bay biscuits chocolate digestive what mugs have we got we've got a gar a, not only a garfield mug but a german garfield mug we have no idea what it says um, barbara um, which, is, which is a classic another classic Izzy, what are you doing? I wanted to see how wide the boat was because <laughs> it looks not very wide. So I thought maybe it was, a, whether it was wider than me, but um, it's not, and it's not very comfortable. Little housewife, <laughs> boat wife. <laughs> We're not married, not yet. <laughs> Stop hinting. <laughs> We're having halloumi wraps for lunch. <laughs> I love a halloumi wrap. 
And you've rogely decided to reheat some bolognese sauce. Well, it's so like that... bolognese and it's got lentils and stuff in it. And I thought we can put that in a wrap with some halloumi. Is it a bit weird? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It it's is. one of Kira's concoctions, but I thought I'd give it a try this lunchtime. So what's the verdict? Well, I think it's nice. What it, do you think? I think it is nice. It's just a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my lovely producer, Ross. Hello. <laughs> Hey Ross. <laughs> so yeah, it's we're, we're doing a little creative review today. Um, and while I'm doing that, what are you going to do, Kira? Don't know. Have a little side idea. Yeah, maybe a tidy. I don't know. We can just have a little lie down, maybe. Yeah, I'll maybe leave you better. to it. So the boat that's moored right next to us has just started playing really, really loud drum and bass music. So, um, which is really annoying. Uh, we're not drum and bass sort of people people are you know people can do what they want but it's just not for us so um we might have to move the boat just slightly up we'll see we're gonna see when izzy's meeting's finished if it's still going we'll move because i can't be dealing with that so we have just left the boat i finished my work for the day and we are enjoying the sun that is still here at what's the time like five o'clock yeah um which so is exciting. should still be up for another couple of hours yeah we're going to go explore the gruffalo trail I'm which really is excited. just <laughs> just something in the woods that's nearby and um, luckily that man stopped playing his music loudly oh, did you say that there was yeah i'm hoping it doesn't continue into the night i'm not very good with loud noises or like no it was also very intense it was so bass. loud drum and bass just kind of ruining the tranquility of the day Yeah. <laughs> I think that is the building up there, and I think that is the Gruffalo tray. <laughs> It's super fit at the moment either. No, it's really quite steep. I'm hoping it gets better. Yeah. <laughs> I think once we get to the top, it's just a trail round. I hope so. Uh, I fear that we may have taken a wrong turn. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where we, we are. We just kept walking up this hill and like, alas, there is no, no gruffalo No trail. gruffalo. And I asked a random person, I was like, do you know where the gruffalo trail is? And he was like, I have no idea what you're talking He's about. Like, the buffalo trail. And I was like, the gruffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try down the hill again? Yeah, We've got we... some good cardio in for the day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> really revisiting your inner child today, Kira. Okay? Yeah, it's such a nice evening. Yeah. Look, the sun's probably come out. Do you think you'd like to come back to Perry Vale? Yeah, definitely. I've really been enjoying it. a quick little dinner now um i think we're gonna go for just a little pasto pasta can't go wrong with that uh look, we don't look, look i know i know but earlier in the video i said that i usually make dinner um <laughs> i can manage pesto pasta funnily enough so we're gonna have a nice little easy dinner because we don't really feel like 
doing a big meal. We can have a cosy evening. I think we're going to do some music, aren't we? Maybe yeah. some singing. Yeah, maybe, maybe a bit of singing. And we're watching, we're watching, um, Downton Abbey. We're watching Downton Abbey at the moment. <laughs> Let me know what you guys are watching at the moment. Any TV shows you would recommend? Any uh, you would recommend to avoid? Yeah. Let us know. It's down to Navi time. We're so excited to have got our TV working. It didn't work for the longest time no. because we had a faulty Wi-Fi router. But now we have a new Wi-Fi router and we can watch Downton for as long as we would like. Well, except we can't because it draws quite a lot of power. So. We can watch Downton for maybe one or two episodes <laughs> until we get too paranoid about draining too much power and then we turn it off. <laughs> we like to live life on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to watch Downton now. So Izzy, what's, what's happening now? I'm just about to compose a new song for the channel. I'm giving you a challenge, aren't I? Yes. I've given you a prompt and an hour. What was the prompt, Kira? The prompt is spring has sprung. Okay. And you have an hour and I will set a timer. And yeah, if it's successful, then it'll be in this video and we'll let you guys know which one it is. Feeling good? Two minutes before the time has gone off. I finished the song. You finished the song, can I listen? You can. <gasps> Yay. I'm always a bit nervous when Kira hears my songs for the first time. You ready? Yes. I'm just gonna sing a bit of Abba. <laughs> Good old Abba. Good old Abba. <laughs> when they sing it together the, the mother and daughter they're just like crying yeah they're like what happened to those wonderful adventures the places i had planned for us to go well <laughs> some of them we did but most we didn't and i just don't it's a beautiful song isn't it mm. Early morning, ooh, waving goodbye <laughs> with an absent-minded smile. <laughs> I always have an absent-minded smile. Because <laughs> he's just tucked themselves into bed. 
I'm just making you a hot drink before we... I've been ever so pampered today. It's yeah. been very nice. Well, no, you've just written a whole song. You've just done You've done loads of work today. I haven't. I just did the engine bay, really. That was impressive. She put that whole engine... I don't know if she said, but she put the whole engine bay back together by herself, which is usually a two-person job. The tea has been made. Just gave you some side eye. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're in bed now having a snuggle and we'll probably watch some tv and then go to bed some downton some downton hello hello the next day we just wanted to say thank you so much for watching our day in the life yesterday we hope you guys found it interesting and fun to just join us about our about our day i know there was no cruising this week but we'll be back cruising next week don't you worry thank you so much to laurie marie's and ken for buying us a coffee this week it means a great deal to the both of us and uh thank you everyone for selling out my cds yeah that was really lovely yeah so all of um izzy's cds are now gone so if you didn't get one um tough <laughs> I'm sure at some point I will like reprint some stuff and get some more physicals. If that's um, something you guys are interested in. Maybe, we'll see. If you enjoyed this video and it's the first video that you've seen from us, um, I'm Kira, this is Izzy and uh, we upload videos every weekend, uh, usually on Sundays but either Saturday or Sunday. If you'd like to see more Roti Adventures, we're over on Instagram at Izzy and Kira. Um, so yeah. <laughs> And so, yeah. Good <laughs> for it. Anything else you want to say? Have a nice week. Thanks for joining us for a day in our life. We love sharing it with you. Join us next week for more cruising, exploring London, and a lot of de rusting. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe for more boat life adventures. Bye!